Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as promised, today we're gonna do another Zulily unboxing. So this box feels pretty light. So I don't know how many items are in here. So we're just gonna have to open it up and see. So I've got about, um, about three more boxes there to open after I open up this one. And as usual, it's going to be like a surprise because I don't remember what is in in the boxes. I do remember some of the stuff I ordered, but I don't remember which box. I don't know which boxes they're in. So, as usual, it's got the bubble things on the top there. One item, guys. Look at this. One item in there. And I don't remember what this is, so... And I kind of don't like when it's got this plastic on there. So we've got a blizzard today, pretty dark out there again, so I have to put my camera lighting high today, really, really bright, so what in the heaven's name is this? Oh, Christmas stuff, that's how long I've had this box. So it's a Christmas mug I ordered, which is good for next Christmas because I opened it too late. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. Isn't that just adorable? And it's got like a little tag that says to and from. So you can actually give it as a gift to somebody. That's pretty cute. I like it. Nice and festive. I wish I had opened it sooner. I would have been able to um, drink my tea in there. That's super cute. I love it. I love that. That's a nice uh, design it's got on it. Yeah, so one item in a big box, but what can you do, right? All these boxes, we do keep them because you never know, you might want to reuse them at some point. I mean, if we do decide to move from this house in the future, you know, we would have to pack all our stuff. We will need boxes. When I was working retail and we were moving, I used to bring home a lot of boxes because they would have clothing coming in bulk so they used to have a lot of cardboard boxes and they would like flatten them and recycle them so I used to bring them away and that is how come we had a lot of boxes so we didn't have to go asking for boxes anywhere else because it was just convenient I worked right there so I just grabbed the boxes from there yeah, so we do keep them. They're good for wrapping presents and stuff. Or if I want to send maybe a little box home for my sister packed with stuff. Or if I want to mail a little box to my mom at some point in time. At least we've got all different sizes. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so uh, I just decided to open one today. And... Um, I'm pretty excited because I want to order some stuff from Bed Bath & Beyond. You guys would have that store in the States too. And um, it's free shipping when you spend $49. So um, I'm looking at some new um, toothbrush holders and stuff for our master bedroom. I'm sorry, our master bathroom because um, I just want it to match. The ones we have right now, they don't really match, but um, we did buy that before we moved here. Actually, we were using it in the other house, so we, we brought it with us. But I'd like to have something that matches, and I would like to get something for the, the uh, 
powder room downstairs as well. Something that goes with the, the sink and stuff like that. It would match really nice. And they have a lot of nice stuff there. And um, I'm thinking about placing an order with them. But I was trying to access their site on my iPad and it's taking forever to load. I don't know if our internet is slow because of the weather today. Um, but it's really, really slow. So I'm going to try uh, accessing it on the computer and see if it'll be faster. Because sometimes you search for stuff and there's a lot of pages. And I like to go through the pages fast, like page down really quick instead of um you know going a page at a time and all these things so i'm gonna try loading it there and i'm gonna have the fridge guy coming out here tomorrow to fix the fridge hopefully for the last time in a long time because this is gonna be like the second time in a couple of years that we had him come out here and fix it and he's a hard person to reach like my fiance was phoning him and he wouldn't answer his phone. He would leave messages and stuff. And then when he when I phoned him, he phoned me back like five minutes after. So my fiance was kind of pissed off because he's saying that he didn't want to come out here. Be and it, it is a problem for him because all he kept saying was, oh, you guys live so far out and stuff like that. But, you know, we're paying him for the traveling. So... We're paying him for coming and going, so I don't see what the big deal is. So he had to order two parts, and he phoned today and said that they had come in if I wanted him to come this afternoon, but I figured, well, no, let him come early in the morning and get it done, and, you know, it's out of the way because tomorrow I'm going to have to clean the bedrooms and tidy up. This room is a mess because I've got boxes everywhere, stuff everywhere. So let him come in the morning, get it done, and then I have the rest of the day to like tidy up upstairs. Because I don't want to be working upstairs and he's downstairs. I'd rather prefer him to come when my fiance is home. Because the last time he came, I was home by myself again. So, but what can you do, you know? We, I I got to work with his schedule and if the parts have come in, we better get it done sooner rather than later because you never know what can happen. He's a hard person to reach. He might not answer his phone when you're ready and all these things. So I will talk to my fiance tonight and um, then we'll go from there. He'll have to come tomorrow, which means I have to open up the gates for him to get into the association because they're locked in the winter time you need to have a remote for them so in the summertime it's open I think all day up to 10 o'clock in the night or something like that and then they lock them so yeah that's what's gonna go down tomorrow and um, uh, I did watch that movie last night and um, it was okay. I would probably give it like a 6 out of 10. I didn't find it that spectacular because I felt like the cops were dragging their feet and she was reporting this guy is harassing her, but nobody's bothering with her. They think it's all in her head, you know what I mean? So I didn't like it. It was kind of a slow process, but you know, it was okay. I paid cheap for it. It was $3.99, so what the heck, right? But there's some movies that you watch and you just think, oh, wow, I could watch this over and over and over and have it on a DVD as, as well. Like, we've watched that movie with Clint Eastwood probably about 10 times. It's called Gran Torino. It's a good movie. I'm pretty sure he won an award for that one because his acting was really good in there. Yeah, so that's what I did last night and today I had to clean the oven last week so uh, that had me there for like over two hours and it still didn't come as clean as I would like it to but I'm gonna have to start cleaning it often just so that it's not as hard to come clean 
So yeah, this time I want to clean out our china cabinet and dust everything and polish up in there because I do that every spring and clean the chandelier in the dining room as well. Just in case we decide to have guests, I don't have to like, you know, doing all this stuff. I would just have to polish up the furniture and in the bedrooms and stuff like that. But spring is coming, so it means window cleaning season. That's what I do. I clean windows. In I do the inside. My fiance does the outside because he's got to pressure wash it. He does it twice a year in, in the summer and in the fall because it gets a lot of stuff on it. So yeah, so that's that. Nothing much is new here. I'm going to go grab some lunch. I usually eat lunch so late. When my fiance is home, we eat lunch at 12 o'clock, sometimes before 12. And sandwich, a soup and a sandwich is what we have. And then on the day he's going back to work, we would make something like uh, tuna and noodles or something or salmon. We use the canned salmon and canned tuna a lot. We cook it up with uh, macaroni or the craft dinner ones and put some cheese on it and stuff. We do that. But other than that, I've been eating uh, sandwiches in the morning and then lunchtime I like to eat solid foods, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's that and um, it's really a dark gloomy day today so we'll see what happens but I'm liking my mug, it's pretty. I'll show you once more because I was told I don't show you guys the stuff long enough and all these things. So, yeah, and it comes with a nice little gift tag to give your friend or your whoever, your co-worker or whatever. And it's small enough for me because I drink tea in the mornings, but I'm not a big tea person as such. So, um, it's small enough for me and... This is going to be so cute for Christmas. I wish I had opened this sooner. It's super cute. I love it. I mean, look at that. Really cute stuff. I love Zulily. Oh my goodness. I'm on their site like every day looking for stuff to buy. You know, it's ridiculous. I know, but I'm so addicted to them. Okay, well, I don't want to ramble too much because as usual, my camera shut off. So, um... Nothing else is new and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my videos and um, no videos tomorrow because I'm going to be busy um, the next day maybe, but I might be cleaning the china cabinet the next day. So we'll see what happens. I still have about three more boxes to open up there. So, okay guys, well... I hope you're having a good week. Weekend is not too far away and um, I know a lot of you have the weekends off and you probably can't wait. You're probably counting down the days when you can have some time off and be at home and with your family and do your stuff around the house and things like that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!